John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures, series testing, successful hunting. A couple weeks ago, I put out a video where I was testing the Kudu Contour. It performed exceptionally well. It's a two blade, single bevel head, has a nice healthy cut. They list it as one and three sixteenths inches. By my measurements, it was a full one and a quarter inches. But check out that video. It flew exceptionally well, penetrated deeply. It was tough as nails, had a nice wound channel with that single bevel. It just did very well in every way. But they've now come out with a modification to that, which really makes it a whole new head. And that is the Kudu Contour Plus. Okay, they call it Plus because they figured out a way to add a little bleeder blade at the base of the broadhead. Everything else is the same except for this addition of the bleeder blade. So I'm going to zoom on in here and introduce it to you and, and explain it a little bit more and then I'm going to put it through some of the tests. Now I tested it for flight, okay, off video and it flew exactly the same as the Kudu Condor. I, I could not tell a difference, at least it was within my margin of error and my shooting ability. It flew exceptionally well, even out to 70 yards. So flight was a non-issue and I expected it to be a non-issue because that bleeder is just so low profile. I didn't expect it to make any difference in flight and it did not. And I'm not gonna test it for edge sharpness and retention because it's the same head, okay? It's gonna have the same sharpness and retention. Check out that video. It got a 10 out of 10 in that. Flight, it got a 10 out of 10. Edge retention got a 10 out of 10. So with this. But I am going to test it for penetration, and I'm going to test it for durability. I'm really curious to see how that bleeder affects penetration and interested to see how it affects the rotation of the head. So that's going to be interesting. And then I'm going to shoot it through steel plate, 22 gauge steel plate, and see how that bleeder holds up to that steel plate. So let's zoom on in here, check it out, and then we'll test the broadhead. And as always, I'm shooting uh, my Bowtech SR6, set at 72 pounds, 27 inch draw. I'm using Bishop FOC King Arrows, and I'm shooting fobs. Here's a good view of the head. As you can see, this is basically the same as the Kudu Contour, only they've made a little niche at the base of each side of the ferrule. And it's into that niche, into that groove, that the bleeder setup slides. Here's the bleeder setup. It's stainless steel, just like the head is. All stainless steel, single piece, and it's got two blades that are really small, as you can see, to minimize surface area and maximize their durability. They're both single bevel as well, just like the head. So you're getting a full one and a quarter inch cut this way, and then you're getting five eighths of an inch cut that way. And to assemble it, you just slide it up into those grooves and then screw it down tight on the broadhead and it's held very securely in place. What a cool design, really interesting. The Contour Plus penetrated seven and three quarter inches and the Contour penetrated eight and a half inches. Here's the entrance into the medium. On the left is the Contour Plus, on the right is the Contour. And you can see the bleeders made that little cross-sectional hole in the cut to the left, whereas the one to the right did not have that. Now both of them went in basically vertical. The Contour was a little bit slightly to the right of vertical. And as they went into the medium, they both rotated about the same. The contour on the right, it rotated, looks like a little bit more, but it started off ahead. Both of them rotated about 60 degrees, I would say. Here's the broadhead after going through the steel plate five times. And as you can see, the main broadhead did just like it did last time. Little tiny bit of, uh, of a nick right there in the tip. The rest of it did very well. And the bleeders, man, I expected them to get sheared off, but they held up to all five shots. Okay, they got a little bit bent up there, but man, they held in place. That's impressive. I really did not expect them to be that durable. Five shots. Now here's the hole, and this is really interesting. Here's the holes 
of the Contour Plus. And you can compare that to the holes of the Kudu Contour without the bleeders. So I had done that a couple weeks ago. So look at the difference in the total hole size between the two. So what'd you think of the Contour Plus? Man, I gotta give props to Kudu. This was ingenious. Just by taking their tried and true contour head, putting in two little grooves and sliding that O-ring with two bleeder blades in, into that place, they've created a, a four blade head, a whole new head, and they've increased the total cut by 34%. That's pretty amazing. You saw the wound channel in that steel plate that was caused by the, the extra bleeders. It definitely opens up a bigger wound channel and you still get the same excellent flight. You still get the same excellent durability. Now in terms of penetration, the contour without the bleeders definitely penetrated more. With the bleeders, penetrated less, to be expected. So now you have a choice when you're going after animals based on your setup and based on what kind of animal you're going after. What I try to do when I'm hunting an animal is I try to get a head that's gonna give me the maximum tissue cut and still pretty much guarantee me two holes, okay, where it's gonna pass through. That's what I want. I want two holes, but I want as much tissue cut as possible getting those two holes. So if you have a lighter setup or a bigger animal, go with the original contour to make sure you get those two holes. But if you got like a white-tailed deer or you know a smaller animal like that, or you have a more powerful setup and you think you can get two holes with the extra 34% tissue cut there, then go for it. Great job, Kudu. Two fantastic heads. Really big ups for the Contour Plus.